So Tiger Wing, turns out you and Billy D have a lot in common. First off, people think you're a freak. Well, these ladies know Billy D a freak. And come to find out that you are wrapped up all inside your woman. Turns out Billy D was in the same situation just last night. But Billy, can you transform? Oh, it's interesting that you should bring that up. Turns out Billy D has the power to transform into a ghost in the morning. Especially if Billy D don't like what he see. Oof. As I always say, after the Colt 45 runs dry and it turns out her face is just not that divine, well, Billy D grows wings and he learns how to fly. Show your ride. You know, over the last like year or so, I've kind of fallen out of love with Hasbro Transformers. I'm just... The, the corner cutting has just been driving me absolutely up a wall considering how much these things cost. And so I pretty much was saying, you know, this is going to probably be my, once I get one or two other figures, this is going to be my swan song. I'm kind of just going to move on, probably be third party all the way. But then I was out with Lady Prime and we were looking for Easter basket stuffers little toys little mini toys and i was like you know what let me go peek in the fig section and then i ran into this guy and oh my goodness that looked good even my wife was like wow that's a really nice looking figure i was like yeah yeah i i didn't expect it to look that good in person man i saw those screenshots and i was like yeah whatever but to see it in person Woo wee this is a this is a marvelous marvelous looking Hasbro figure man they really they really knocked this one out the park but first let's uh, take a look at the box here so let's just be clear that's the best like that's the best box art I've seen from Hasbro in a very long time it has like a Voltron lion feel to it like that's just that's awesome and then you have like just uh oh dropped them but anyway so you have look at that great face sculpt little action shot right there go to the other side you have all the you actually have hey look at that guy i know who that guy is and then <laughs> you have pretty much a bunch of like dinobots and everything and like uh not dinobots beast war figures and everything so pretty cool like couple other figures there then you have the main figure the big boy the big guy yeah so beast wars universe this is the guy right here oh man so now let's take a look at the figure so out the box he comes with a handful of accessories he comes with his arm cannon little arm cannon right there these two are come uh unattach you have to attach them the little arm cannons that also can double as guns because they have the pegs right here oh there we go they have the pegs right here so he can double his um rifles for his hands he comes with and he comes with the two feather accessories a little two feather missile accessories so all in all a pretty decent spread for a leader class figure some pretty good accessories but what really kills me is the aesthetic it's amazing oh my goodness it caught me so off guard it's like look at the color palette everything blends perfectly everything blends perfectly it's like the feathers there's paint like great paint accents accents oh boy i need to learn to speak paint accents there we go <laughs> yeah paint on the tiger head you have paint on the uh back here you have paint on the uh the griffith feet <laughs> like you know it's just it's so much going on paint on the toes there's just so much going on paint wise like it just everything pops even the plain plastic pops and they even manage the mechanical detail inside of here actually has a like a 3d effect it, it has a great aesthetic aesthetic look very pleasing very very pleasing and one thing i want to point out too is the head sculpt like that's easily one of the best 
head sculpts Hasbro has ever done. Like the teeth grinding, the eyes that glow, the 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 clear plastic visor, like the crown, the crown helmet over here. Everything just looks so good on this figure. So good. Now, posing. So, head can go up and down. Nothing really to the side. Can go 360 because it's on a ball joint. So, arms. Because they paid attention to detail. Look at that. <laughs> Even the flap comes up. So, arms. You can do turn here. Bicep. Full rotation. Single jointed, but you can get just past 90. No wrist rotation. So, bummer. But, that works. Wings. Two clicks, click, click, right there. His guns rotate, right there. Wing right here, rotate up, rotate down. Rotate in and out, so you can actually get the flying motion going. Yeah. Waist, no, there's no, uh, I don't think, no, I don't think there's a, uh, I don't think he could bend, any, I don't think he has any ab crunch right there, so. He does have rotation at the waist. Nice, nice ratchets for forward and back. He can kick out all the way on. Now there's a locking mechanism here for transformation, but kicks out all the way, all right? Leg rotates right there. Single jointed knee, but you get the, you get to about 90, a little bit past 90 and his ankle can do the little tilt right there nothing back and forth so all in all posing not bad not bad at all and then of course you know he could flash you <laughs> such now another thing though this right here is a problem that pretty much everybody i've found out has with this uh with this run of the figure so just buy everywhere i don't i don't think anything will, bad will happen of it but yeah looks really really good and for a size comparison here he is with two voyagers from beast wars here he is with inferno and dinobot and here he is with an old school leader optimal optimus and with a new school leader another new school leader in armada megatron now let's get this guy transformed and take a look at the beast mode all right so now we have tiger hawk in his beast mode and yeah it looks really good like it looks really really good so there's the face right there the tiger face looks much more pronounced now of course you have to lift that back panel right here the cheetah's neck so you can actually have him look up and down so very tight but he can look up and down you can cheat it a little bit but instead of his head just facing straight down like this he can look up and down so now you have that so mouth opens and yeah so he can give you the uh he can give you the i'm talking to you face now i wish there was some paint in here but you know is what it is claws you still have the function of the original uh arms feet twist down here look pause twist you have the crow feet <laughs> the bird feet that uh go up and up and down side to side and kick out up and down side to side can kick out can go back and forth you have a full range of motion right there three joints right there full range of motion pretty good tail right there now here's where my beef comes in with this figure i'm just gonna put them down right there those look really bad in the beast mode the hollow wings they look really bad in the beast mode really bad it's not they're they're just not they're not as fun it's just not as fun but i mean you know mainline 
I can let this slide, like flip that around, go into his battle mode. I can let this slide for a main line, but this is like, that's unacceptable. And it really looks bad in the, in the beast mode, his Griffin mode or whatever you want to call it. It looks really bad. So that's my big beef with this figure in beast mode. Now, wings still have the same functionality. You can get them flapping around, do all the fun stuff. But yeah, it has like a great like Voltron lion look to it that I really that I'm really enjoying. But like I said, I'm not a fan of those hollow wings. That's though that's unacceptable at this price point. It it really is. But you get you still get some extra paint here and there for this mode. The plastic, once again, it feels good for the most part. But eh it still looks good it still has some great quality to it but it's just it's not it doesn't that the wings just oh they just burn they just burn a little bit it's like it just does it just does and just for a quick size comparison here he is with another beast wars leader class figure this is the transmetal 2 megatron and like i was saying before there are ways to work around those hollow wings. There are ways to fix that. Um, but yeah, the the hollow wings really aren't aren't bad are bad in the uh, in the beast mode. And honestly, like that kind of just that's the kind of crap I I just can't deal. With. At least like do like this guy. They gave him thinner, longer wings that were there. They're not hollow. They're just softer plastic with a little bit of paint on one of the wings, basically. But it sprawls out and it looks good. These don't look as good in the beast mode. And it's just something that it it, it, it makes what could have been a damn near top 10 figure for this year pop. It could have made it pop, but it just... it that one thing just kind of drives me crazy but yeah it is what it is and just for poops and giggles he has his uh weirdo uh weapon storage under his crotch <laughs> my god it's like uh you know it's not as bad as double dealer double dealer was definitely overcompensating but this dude yeah you know good for him good for him he can knock up two women at once <laughs> good for him <laughs> anyway let me know what you think in the comments. Did you pick up this figure? Are you interested in this figure? Do you even care about Beast Wars or the Fuse Wars or what? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out the community tab. That's where I post any pre-orders, any deals on figs, or any restocks that I come across while browsing the World Wide Web. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also in the description is my Amazon affiliate link. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. All you have to do is click on the link, go on Amazon and buy away. And Amazon will pay me a small commission for everything you purchase. It's a great way to support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. But yeah, with that, be safe, be good. And it's the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.